Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about what problems do artists solve in the world of art. And I know this question might be kind of surprising for many of you because this is not a question usually people ask creative professionals. But in the entrepreneurial world, this is so common. I was pitching in front of a group of venture capitalists and this question was asked to each and every entrepreneur because they need to know what problems are you trying to solve? How big is this problem? How important is this problem? How difficult is this problem? So that they know the potential of your startup project. So they know if you are worth their time, their energy and worth their money to invest and how successful that you might be in the market. And I know that in the art world, especially artists from art schools, the art schools, they don't teach you this kind of thing and they would even disencourage you from thinking to solve an actual practical problem because they would say this is for the craftsmen, this is for the designers, this is for the blah blah blah. And this is not for artists because artists, especially the fine art artists, they have to be bigger than life. They have to solve the ultimate problems that humanity will face one day. If you want to solve the ultimate problems, great. If this is your goal, this is a really noble cause and I encourage you to pursue that, but be ready to live a really starving life because you will not be immediately rewarded by monetary rewards like money. Like you will not be rewarded by hard cash if you try to solve such a um, abstract problem. I mean, it's still a really good problem. It's a really, really good project unless um, you don't want to make money, like you don't need to make money. Like if you're from a really wealthy family, this is fine. Like you can pursue this and down this path and you will achieve the ultimate goal in life. That is to bring your own self-actualization through this um, noble cause and through practicing your art and bringing the ultimate problems to solve. But for most of you, I guess you are struggling to make the ends meet. And if you want to live a fine life, like a mid-range quality life and to support your family and to be able to last a long time, have a sustainable income so that you can you know, practice art and stay in this industry for as long as you would want, you need to solve a problem. You need to solve the problems that you want to solve for your clients, for your collectors, for your community, for your fans, for whoever you choose, but you need to think about what problems you want to solve. Just to give you some ideas, uh, let's do some warm up exercises. I have a friend who runs a cafe in front of the train station and I asked him, why do you open the cafe? What problems are you trying to solve? And he said, I want to open a gourmet cafe place for people when they are waiting for the train, they could sit here comfortably in the sun, have a really high quality coffee. That would distinguish myself from my competitors. And I was like, very well. I mean, you have your own business idea sorted. Obviously, you don't need any help. You're good to go. And I have a friend who runs one of the most successful chimney installation companies in Spain. And he told me, in the Marshallow's Pyramid, this is the basic of the basic. People need to keep warm in the winter, otherwise they'll be frozen. And especially for the grandmothers, they were really afraid of cold. And in the rural homes, it's really cold and they don't have sufficient electricity power to power the whole house. I solve this problem for them and I fulfill their basic needs and they would like to contract my service and I provide the highest quality price and my product is quite unique in the market. I have designed this product myself and I'm launching it and soon, quickly, his company became one of the biggest chimney company in Spain. If you look around the products you use, I'm sure that you can find some products that solve essential problems that you have. For example, I'm a filmmaker. I want to make high quality videos on the go because sometimes I don't have the camera, like my DSLR large camera with me. So I have my iPhone and iPhone is the highest quality for video encoding so far. I know that Huawei is catching up, but the video quality still, this is the best personally, I think. So I have iPhone to help me record high quality videos on the go and it solves me a very big problem. If you look around the products that you have, they almost always solve a problem that you had. And after having this product, perhaps the problem goes away. So you can do the same practice for your own artwork, art projects, and the product that 
merchandising or other kind of products and services that you provide for your customers, what problems are you trying to solve? And you can go to the Maslow's pyramid and see. And usually, as a creative professional, you're solving something that is not the basic needs. That is something like in the mid-higher range, for example, belongingness and love needs. You want to create a community with intimate relationships with your fans, like a friendship, and esteem needs, prestige and feeling of accomplishment, like luxury products, they are making people feel that they, are, they have certain kind of prestige. This could be something that you can approach. Also self-actualization, achieving one's full potential, including creative activities. And I know art for most of artists is solving their own problem of self-actualization, but they still need to think about what value does this their products, their artworks, their services bring to their clients because otherwise they are using art as a problem solving method for their own problems. But if they don't solve other people's problems, they don't get the monetary reward that we were talking about. Remember the monetary reward. I know some artists, they are providing some kind of creative workshops, art therapy, and they are helping people to feel fulfilled and to feel this, you know, realizing their full potential through art. And they are providing these services to be on top of this Marshall's pyramid. And now look at your own artworks and services that you are providing. What problems are you trying to solve? And this is the problem that you have today is that you have to find out the problems that you're trying to solve. If you have any questions, leave me a comment below. Otherwise, see you in another video. I'm making one video every single day. So make sure you subscribe not to miss the upcoming videos. Thank you very much for watching. See you tomorrow.